Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Daisy from Question Me Journey, and uh, today's not something I would normally film, but I'm on vacation. This is our last day, so well, why not? I don't have anything to do. So, tonight in, let's just go. Now, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a How to Grow Your Hair Long Fast, and I'm not a very good one to do this because my hair is not long. But I'm on the, I'm working on it. So, before I get into the video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below on the video ideas. And yeah, um, I'm not going to be posting any uh, horse related videos until October when I get my horse. So, let's get to it. Okay, so, first is going to be with brushing your hair. Uh, I don't recommend brushing your hair that often. Well, like, obviously in the morning when you wake up and stuff. But, uh, do it really gentle. I recommend a wet brush, uh, wet brush, yeah, um, and what I recommend is taking your hair and then starting at the tips and going up to the roots because this doesn't pull your hair, but as you can see, mine's already brushed out, uh, but it was really tangling before I brushed it out before I filmed this video, so yeah, uh, that's just a tip on how you brush it. Another, uh, tip uh, is don't use heat on your hair. Like, um, I never use heat on my hair. Like, I never straighten it. I don't curl it. That This is just, like, my normal hair. Uh, it's really light because it's summertime and, uh, well, actually, it's fall now, but just turned fall and it's still really hot outside. So, um, it's basically just don't use heat on your hair. Like, uh, what I find that you can do that is easy is, like, try not, if you, like, use heat on your hair a lot, then I definitely recommend to use, um, heat-resistant spray so it doesn't affect your hair because that basically just, like, kills your hair, like, so, um, yeah, just don't use heat, you, but what I recommend is, like, do, like, Try doing a week without putting heat on your hair. Try doing a 30 days without putting your hair. I just don't put heat on my hair in general. But, uh, yeah. So, um, next is sleeping with a loose braid. So, I'll show you what I mean by a loose braid. So, I usually do two just because my hair is shorter. And I'll just separate it. And then I'll just, well... I can't do two of them because I only have one hair tie with me. And, but I just separate them. And don't put a hair tie up at the top or you will not allow the blood to go through to your hair. So just a loose, loose, loose braid. This makes it easy to do in the morning to brush it. But there's, that's just what I mean by a loose braid. But yeah. And then you'll sleep with that, and it won't be hard to brush your hair in the morning. I can probably take you on this backpack too. So, that was my mom. Uh, but, yeah. And then, another tip that I really like, but usually I have my mom do it for me. Um, if you, like, tip your hair over, tip your head over, and then massage your head like that. Uh, it lets the blood flow down to, well, in your follicles and stuff, so, yeah. But, uh, I recommend doing it for five minutes. Uh, I don't recommend doing it for more because then you might kind of get lightheaded. Just saying, uh, if you keep your head tipped over for a long time. Or people will, like, lay on a bed or a couch or something and then let their head go off of it and then do it. But, yeah, basically. Uh, another tip is don't wash your hair every day. Uh, it will make your, it's not good for your hair. It like takes all the natural oils from it and then your hair isn't going to grow and that is not good. So I recommend doing it um, every other two days or every other day. Uh, but usually my, if your hair gets really oily then and you like if you don't shampoo it every day then I recommend just using a tiny amount but uh, my hair does pretty good with it and as you can see it doesn't look very oily so yeah 
Uh, but uh, let's see another one. Oh, this is a remedy. Uh, just kind of a DIY. So, uh, I'm not gonna do it here because I'm on vacation and I don't have the ingredients that you need. But basically, just take two eggs, regular eggs, not hard boiled. Uh, crack them in a bowl and then uh, put two teaspoons of olive oil and mix it up with like a fork spoon or your hands or whatever you want to do. And then apply it to the roots of your hair and go down uh, and uh, that the egg will um, give your hair nutrients and stuff and make it super long. But only do that uh, of a minimum, a maximum of three times a week because the egg can actually take away all the oil and everything that is good in your hair and uh, it will, you will overdo it and it just won't be good at all. And that's when that remedy is not gonna be good for you. Uh, let's see, something else. Oh, this is just something that I find helpful. Maybe you won't find it helpful, but measure your hair about every two weeks and set like a goal so let's say your hair is 12 inches and let's say you want to let it grow two inches every two weeks and then next time you want it to be 14 inches um it's gonna be very hard to make your hair grow that much i know that's not a lot when you think about it but in hair if your hair grows fast then yeah but my hair grows very slow so, that's why I'm throwing this stuff out here because it's making my hair go faster. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, don't get your hair cut often. Only get it cut when you're getting split ends and stuff. Uh, as you can see, I'm still pretty good. Um, mine's pretty good right now. Uh, but I just got it cut, actually. Um, I like to get mine cut about three times a year, I think. Or, well, do I get my hair cut three times a year? Mm -hmm. About once every three months. Adi, I need my phone. Wait, pieces. Okay, I'll see you guys. Six, nine, twelve. So I get my usually cut four times a year, but I'm reducing that to two times a year because I just don't like getting my hair cut in general. If it gets really crappy and has a lot really of loose in your back when I'm done. Then I do, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I brush my hair. This is just how I do it, but you don't need that for the morning to brush your hair. Did you set it, like, open your iPad up and put it on the stand? You need to put, are you going to wear those shoes tomorrow? No. Jenny Jenny has to to Jesus in. sandals are over there. Why is she using my shoes? I have no clue. To set up? Okay, guys, wait. Ugh. This whole setup just went to crap. Okay, let's see. Here we go. I'm going to set you all up here, right here. Here we go. Nice new fresh setup. So first I'll just start at the bottom and brush up. Start at the bottom and brush up and then I'll do this. Are you done with along this? My yeah. whole hair. So you can to put my shoe back in. Where's the other shoe? Oh, I Are you already, wearing the Crocs? Yeah. This does not take a while Daisy's wearing the Jesus all. sandals? And then I'll just brush over mm -hmm. and I'll do so it. So this side's ready to time. go down? Yeah. And then if it's all detangled, I'll go on to the other what, side. Are you, when you get home and you unload your Sorry, guys. sleeping bag, are you going to get out all the dirty clothes out of yours? And I'll mm -hmm. just start at the bottom and come up. Start at the bottom. Usually it's going to be way harder. <laughs> but mine is already brushed out, so. Then after it's all done, I'll just put it back into a little like acting around it and put it in a pony and then just like and your backpack's can go down right wash it out and then right 
my shirt from roots down to yeah. the ends, tips, and now it's all brushed. So now I'm gonna do some, just like, I don't know. So, let's try to do some. So, I don't know what you call this. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna like flip my hair. Why not? It is the last day of vacation, so I'm just gonna do this. So, this is what I love to do when I'm hot. I will, like, once I, we're done with recess at school, like, I'll be super hot when we go back in the building. So, I'll just, um, like, do this with my hair and, like, like, kind of, like, just like do that with my hands and then like lift up my hair and it makes me so much cooler. So yeah, so let's just do some of this. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was a little bit helpful. But uh this definitely helps me. I I'm a big fan of trying to make my hair grow. And yeah, so. Oh, I forgot to mention two other things. Yeah, I'm turn that down. I'm trying to film. Um, always wear your hair loose. So don't be like throwing your hair up all the way. Like this. Don't like put it up like that. Like if you're gonna do something and you want it out of your way, just like put it down here and like put it in like a nice low. I know this might be hard for some people to do because you like have to have it up, but just wear it loose and don't like just like wear it loose. So it's out of my way. But yeah. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. I'm definitely gonna stick to this. Uh, I believe my hair's around 14 inches right now. I don't have a measuring tape with me. Last time I measured it was 13, and that was like a month ago. So I hope it's at 14 by now. But I might need to get a haircut soon. Don't know. But I don't. I think it's pretty good for now. But. Um, where is my brush? Mom, here's my brush. Let me see. Okay, okay so let's just brush out my hair one last time. And I can go over it now from roots to bottom because it's already mainly. All the knots and tangles are out. There we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is how you can keep your hair thick but long. And hopefully I get a big transformation. And next time we go to the beach is going to be in one year. Uh, one year's time. Yeah. Uh, I want it to be all the way down to, like, let me show you. Did you love the place? Like right, Addie, did you love the like right about yeah. my butt. Sandy Beach. Yeah. Well, I want it to be 23 inches when all my hair. Did you like it that you have an upstairs done. room, Madison? So, mm -hmm. hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will see you guys again on Monday because I'm gonna film a review on the hydro flask that my mom bought for me. Yeah, thanks, mom. And. I'm going to review it and unbox it and tell you my, what I think about it. And we're going to see how, if it can hold my ice the whole day I'm at school. Do you think it can? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but we ordered it last Monday and uh, it usually takes about a week to nine to twelve days. Um, and most people said it comes in a week. So hopefully it's here on Monday if it's not. You'll just have to wait. And I ordered off the website, so it should be about a week. But yeah, uh, you don't get any info about it until that video. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.